so you can see my horses how much HP they have all of them around 14 15 and 13 K HP in this new update Hello everyone, my name is Hossein, but you can call me Dark Cat. In this video, we're gonna talk about the hidden buff after this update the horses got. They got massive amount of HP. As you can see, my horses all have around 12,000 HP, 10,000 HP. And this one you can see also 14,000 HP if they get the good perks. And this is a massive buff to horses that we can talk about it in this video so make sure you watch the video till the end so i'm gonna test the damage also on the horses how much stamina damage you're gonna get so it's good to use horses for pvp or not and if you enjoyed this video make sure you put a like on the video it will help me a lot so for the start i need to talk about that each horse we have three type of horses the, the baby horses so you can see we have the swift baby horse we have the sturdy baby horse and we have the normal baby horse so i try to make three from each horse uh, this is the sturdy this is the swift and this is the normal and we're gonna see the different stats between horses and all these horses in the middle i just spawned them they are like random i don't know which kind of horses they are so i'm gonna put these baby horses here and i'm gonna take all the three sturdy horses here and we're gonna put them down and we're gonna see what is their stats so i put all of the horses you can see they start with 1836 hp and this stats is the important one you can see they have one on vitality 76 percent on vitality 70 grid 40 64 okay and let's check this guy 82 on grid 58 so again one vitality so they have massive amount of chance on the grid let's see also the third one have chance on grid no okay this is so this chance is gonna be random for each horses but this i think plus one vitality is the difference between these horses I'm gonna take these swift ones now and to see that to compare these swift ones with the sturdy horses and we're gonna see what is the differences between these sturdy and swift horses that if it's like big difference so people actually need to go farm these swift baby horses if it's like needed so we're putting all these three swift horses we're gonna see the stats now you can see that it's also start with one vitality the chance is gonna be random so I don't know what's the differences between swift and sturdy horses maybe if you're gonna consider the name the swift one's gonna be faster than sturdy horses but i actually cannot try that but uh, make sure you guys put it down below in the comments if any one of you know what is the differences between sturdy horse and a swift horse if it's not the speed so i will be glad to read some comments to help me and we're gonna put the normal horses down now to see if they are if they have any difference between these two kind of horses so the normal horse also have the same hp plus one vitality the stats are different so there is nothing different between different baby horses so you can just throw any baby horse in the stable and try to grow an adult horse to use it so we're gonna talk about now the the saddle you can you will always use the scout saddle for better turning because this is really good for pvp and for there is also a potion that you can reset your horse stats so this is really important to have exit of rivers that you're gonna make it on alchemist table you can see it's here you need to learn magic to be able to make this potion inside this i'm gonna level up one of these horses you can see that when you also leveling up your horses you need to use the wine for vitality or you're gonna use the gray flower for strength it depends what which kind of attributes you need for your horses so i put a wine in the horse for the extra vitality so i already have some here i put the wine in so you can see when you put the wine on your horse the horse get plus 14 percent and vitality now i'm gonna level up the horse to level 20 and you can see the horse become 10,500 hp that easy and it's only get like plus three and five on vitality so i don't like the perks i'm gonna put elixir of rebirth inside my horse and i'm gonna drink one for my horse you can see my horse perks change you can see plus 10 grit plus 10 strength plus 10 vitality these perks are slightly better than last one but i'm gonna focus on making my horse tankier so i'm just gonna keep feeding him this elixir of reapers 
and check the HP. You can see now it's 11k HP. That is a decent perks. You can see even plus 10 damage. That when you hit someone, you're gonna deal decent damage. So this exit of reverse is also a really good exit to use. It is also working on troll. So make sure you have this to make a decent horse with decent HP. So hidden buff actually happened after chapter 3.0 because before horses had around 300 to 2k HP maximum. Now horses become from 7k to 15k maximum depend on the perks they got so I think this is kind of a bug they are not buffing the horses uh, like intentional this is only a bug I think they're gonna fix it in future so now we're gonna test when this bug or when this update happens to horses now is it worse to use horses for pvp so i'm gonna use this horse and i'm gonna tell my friend to use a spear on me and i'm gonna see the stamina damage on horse you can see now when i'm on horse i have 600 stamina when my friend's trying to hit me i instantly knock off from horse so this is quiet broken and it's not recommended for pvp when you are getting knocked down with one spear shot now we're gonna try to use axe to see like a different weapon when you are like how much stamina damage you're gonna get now my friends trying to hit me with axe you can see still with a different weapon i also getting one shotted knocked down with the horse and so i think the horses now are the best counter against archers so when you can see my friend hitting me with arrows i'm not getting insta knocked down you can see i'm getting a little bit of stamina damage on horse so this is quite good against a full archer guy with hollow bones arrow and with void forge bow he's using the best archer gear set in the game and he's not knocking me down with one shot he need to hit me quite look one two three four five six seven so he knocked me down with seven shots when he can knock me with one shot of a spear or one shot of the axe so this is quite broken I think these horses are very good counter against uh, archers if the enemy team playing some archers but it's uh, still broken so you cannot full focusing on pvp with horses like before the horses are not that op and lances of course lances also get uh, nerfed and they are also one shotting you with knocking you down but they are not dealing so much damage it's just knocking you down with stamina damage so this was all about the secret buff for horses i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure if you like this video put a like on the video it will help me a lot thank you guys for watching i will see you all in the next video